gentlemen. Uh, today I want to challenge the misconception that you win the game by hard work and I want to talk about leverage, right? And so I believe that uh, in our classrooms as we go to school every single time, every single day, we've been taught that hard work is the way to go and hard work is the only way you're going to succeed. So I'm here to challenge that misconception and talk, that, and talk about leverage and how leverage is the most uh, efficient way to succeed against uh, hard work. So, I believe that hard work is doing more, is doing less with more. And as long as you're always going to work hard, it means that your, your, in, your, 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 in, your output is directly proportional to your input. That, is, that means that your earning is, is linear. That means your learning is linear, right? So leverage, leverage is a little bit different. How different is it? Leverage means that you are doing more with less. That means that your input, your input is less and your output is more, right? And so when you go to the workplaces, uh, human resources, right? People are called resources because they are a resource, right? I'm sorry to some of those that may feel a little bit offended. So what I mean by that is, uh, there are four types of leverages. The first one is capital, right? Uh, and I'm not going to talk much about capital because uh, not everybody can be able to get capital, right? So I'm going to talk about the, the second. The second type of leverage is labor, right? And the reason why businesses and entrepreneurs and, and leaders and CEOs are able to look for people to work for them is because they are trying to leverage on their energy. Right? So at the fundamental, you only have two things. You have energy and time. These are the things that you're paid for. The more energy you have, the more money you have. So time and energy are correlational. So we can assume that the more energy you have, it means you have more time as well. Right? So in the workplace, I said someone, an employee is called a resource. Right? That means they are paid for time. And money is just uh, energy transfers, which means uh, you're getting paid for the energy that has been expended, right? As you're at a workplace, you're working and you're getting paid for the energy, right? The energy that you're expending. And that energy is kept by time. So the person who owns the business, uh, the leader, the company's uh, CEO, is able to leverage on your energy as well as your time. So what do they have? When they hire people, they're leveraging on the labor uh, part of uh, leverage. That means when I hire people, those people's energy, their energy becomes my energy, right? As well as their time. That means I have more time as well. So I have two things. I've got energy and I've got time, right? It's your energy. So for somebody who does not have a team, that is an individual who is working every single day, uh, they're going to have some limitations because their energy is now kept by time. You cannot work every single time, but for a leader who hires a lot of people to come and work for them, they can leverage on your energy, right? So leverage is the, is the wonder that, uh, that can actually help you achieve a lot of goals, a lot of things. So if we look into every aspect of um, achievement, every aspect of business, now we can begin to understand even if we look at the banking sector, right? So you understand that when you go to the bank and then you put your money into the, into the bank, the bank is going to take uh, a percentage of your money and lend it to other people and earn some profit from it. That is leverage, right? So leverage is the way to go. So I can give you a perspective uh, of somebody who owns uh, a construction company and has got employees working for him. Somebody who is actually drilling, doing the drilling, doing the, di the digging, and someone who is sitting in the office who earns more, it goes without saying, right? Because the guy who is sitting in the office is leveraging on the energy of that particular person or that particular individual who is working, uh, who is in the, in the, in, in the trenches. So that, that's where the difference comes in. So when we are at school every single time, we're taught that hard work is the way to go. But I believe that it, it is only leverage that can help you achieve what you want to achieve. I could have actually said a lot more, but uh, this was a little bit uh, extemporized because I was caught on short notice. So this is what I wanted to say. So if you're always going to want to succeed, then you have to leverage. You have to always focus on leverage, not hard work. 
hard work is going to make you uh, achieve things in a, in a linear form. So I'm going to go forward and explain that um, if you want to, to, to start with this whole leverage thing, there's another part of our uh, leverage, which is called specific knowledge, right? They're individuals who have specific knowledge, and specific knowledge, according to Navo, is not the type of knowledge that you're taught, it's the type of knowledge that you learn. You develop it as you're reading, as you're uh, applying a little bit of higher order learning. Uh, that's where you begin to develop your own philosophies, your own ideologies. That kind of knowledge is knowledge that does not exist anywhere. It is your own knowledge. And so when you have that type of knowledge, now you can leverage the time. Because when you have that knowledge, it is only you who has got the knowledge. Which means when you're working with the time, you can decide how much you want to be paid uh, per certain uh, time, right? So that is the uh, third type of leverage, which is specific knowledge. Right? And then the, the last piece of knowledge is when you've got specific knowledge, you have to find out the ways that you can package that information, that knowledge, into a certain type of product that is no marginal cost of replication. So the fourth step of uh, leverage is no marginal cost of replication. That means when you create that product, uh, that particular piece of product that you create, it, it's, it's not supposed to have, uh, it's supposed to have low uh, cost of uh, uh, replication. So I can give you, I can put it into perspective and we can talk of uh, companies like Facebook uh, and uh, different uh, companies that um, deploy certain uh, uh, technological products, right? You can probably come up with an ebook that explains everything you have learned, that is a piece of product, right, that is digital. So the thing with uh, a product that is no marginal cost of replication, it could be a piece of technology, it could be a code, it could be a video, right? The thing with that is when you upload it or when you deploy it to the people, you only do that once and many people come to buy that thing. You don't have to, like, uh, like, a, like a physical product that you create many times, like, so it's different. You only have to create it once and deploy it. So this is the fourth step of leverage. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is all I wanted to say, that if you want to succeed in the world where there is a zero-sum game, then you need to focus on leverage, not hard work. Thank you so much.